So earlier today, I was talking to one of my closest friends who is actually applying to medical school this year. And it just got me thinking how this same time last year, I was preparing to go into med school and I just had no idea what was to come. But I remember one feeling that I had constantly throughout summer is how anxious I was to start anatomy. And I think it was because one, it was our very first class in med school and two, I literally went into med school with negative anatomy knowledge, like, but I ended up acing the class and I enjoyed it so much and I attribute it to literally one resource called anatomy bootcamp and I just wanted to talk about it today and how I used it to study. I just feel like nobody knows about this resource and I don't know why because it's like the best thing I've ever used, but yeah, let's get right into this video. <laughs> So this is the interface right here. It looks like they added a bunch of like preclinical videos as well, which is so cool. So this is all I used right here, the gross anatomy foundational course, but they also have neuroanatomy, histology, and embryology. So if we just click on one of these courses, what I really liked about the interface is how they split it up into sections like this. This is really nice because some schools, they start with like upper limbs, some start with the head and neck and you can just quickly navigate it and go to the videos for that specific topic but for our school we started on upper limbs so this is all the topics under upper limbs and as you can see it's really nicely organized and then if you click on one of them let's click on pictorial region on the side is all the videos that are related to that topic. So what I did was I first downloaded the handout and this will be the PowerPoint that they're using. And what I did was I downloaded the PowerPoint and then I added it to my iPad and then I just followed along with the video. One thing I really like about these videos is that they cover all the high yield information that was on our exams. And two, they're only about four to 10 minutes each versus whenever I sat there listening to my two hour lecture from class where you don't really know like, is this gonna be important or not? So that's why I found these videos way more efficient and just way faster to study with. This is an example of one of the videos. I really like how they make an outline of everything that they're gonna cover first and then go into the topics. And this reminds me, another thing I really like about these videos is they divided the information into muscles, their blood supply, and their innervations. And having that compartmentalization for me was really helpful to see the big picture at the end versus like learning everything together at once because it's just really overwhelming. And then after I watched all the videos, what I would do is I would go to the practice exams and then I would do the practice exam for that topic that I just covered. Um, this is probably the best part of bootcamp for me is these atlas images. These cadaver photos are just out of the world. They were exactly like what I saw on my exams. So half of the anatomy exam is just identifying the structure, like questions like these. So if you can go through all of these and just answer them, that just covers like half the knowledge that you need to know. And this method of studying is just uncomparable to just using images that are drawn online from a textbook. So um, for example, identify the tag structure below. Yikes, I have not touched anatomy since last year, but uh, let's say lateral pictorial nerve. I still got it. And then the second half of the anatomy questions are gonna be more second level questions. Like for example, knowing exactly in the question stem what muscle that they injured, you have to be able to know what motor functions they lost or what innervations were affected, things like that. So they also have questions on that as well, which is just incredible, just the sheer amount of questions that they have. And these are all the second level questions that you'll see. So for example, oh, these are so important, but like knowing what nerve roots this specific nerve comes off of. Like, not only do you have to know what this nerve is, but you have to know where it came from. So yeah, a lot to look forward to in anatomy. <laughs> so after watching all the videos for that specific topic, I would go to Atlas and download the Atlas for 
that topic which is just all the cadaver images and then I would go on my iPad and then I would copy and paste the images on my iPad like this and I would just practice labeling the images and then when the exam came around and I saw this exact image I would immediately know that this is the peg major so for each chapter, I would make a notebook on GoodNotes and have three chapters, Muscles, Blood Supply, and Nerves. And this just made it so much easier to go back on my notes and find exactly what I was looking for. And this is an example of one of the notes I took for Muscles. These images were directly from the lectures and labeled it as the video went on. The way that they teach it and how they organized each muscle was just so helpful because as you can see, there is a ton of forearm muscles and I don't think I could have learned them all as efficiently as I did if I didn't follow along with the videos. And here is another example. This is from the blood supplies lecture of the arm. Their schematic images are just so helpful because they simplify it in a way that it's easier to learn with compared to looking at an image from a textbook and you're just like trying to decipher it for hours. This is how I knew that boot camp was amazing because I learned the entire brachial plexus with one lecture. And I actually need to review this because we are in our neurology block right now and I forgot literally everything. This is basically how I studied, like that's it. It's not too much of anything. I think the hardest part is just how much information there is for each topic, but studying it is not too bad at all, especially through using anatomy bootcamp. It was just all so organized and easy to study. Like everything was already provided for me through just this one platform. But yeah, that's basically it on anatomy bootcamp. Oh, another thing that I noticed whenever I was filming this video is that they have a bootcamp for dentistry and optometry school as well. So that's really cool that they're not just focusing on medical school. Um, but yeah, and then they also have like a bunch of pre-clinical videos that I should probably watch soon. <laughs> it, they just have so many videos and I really wish I watched more than Gross Anatomy, but that just goes to show that even with just this one Gross Anatomy course, you're basically set for the entire class. But yeah, that is all that I have today on Anatomy Bootcamp. If you have any questions, please let me know. In the description, I'll put a code that I was able to cut for you guys for Anatomy Bootcamp if this is something that you're interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're applying to med school this year, I wish you guys the best on match day. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.